Welcome back to Star Trek Online, everybody. I am your host, the House Code Gamer. It's time to deal with Zombie Kim. I hate this mission. And the Kabali. I really do. We have a situation on Kabali Prime. You and I were both asked by name to help. All that I've been told is that the Vodwar have launched a large offensive and have retaken the area in front of their temple. The place where they keep unconscious Vodwar stored. They need our help to retake the area. Though I have a feeling something else is going on. Can you help with the situation? The Vodwar are making a new push into the system, and we could use your help. The Rhode Island is assisting the new Kabali flagship Sansar. But you know the Vodwar. They're relentless. The Kabali forces are spread thin, and the Vodwar are making a push toward the temple. If I may, 
I have a suggestion for our plan of attack. Hanshin Jatanian and his team will attack the outer area of the trenches, making their way to the temple. My away team will move to the opposite end of the trenches and support the remaining Kabali soldiers there. While they're holding the flanks, your team and I will push through the center and strike the Vodwar in the temple courtyard. Your thoughts? None. My team is eager to prove themselves. You and your allies have set quite an example for us to live up to. We'll support the forces at the other end of the trenches and then make our way to the temple. Hopefully we'll be able to meet up with you before the final assault. Lost the point in here. They'll be pushed forward and we take it. We should prepare these turrets. More Fatwa would be coming. Here they come. Take out that drop pod. Clear here. Let's keep moving. There's an injured Mako up ahead. See what you can do for him. Thank you for your assistance. I'm Commander Lewis Cooper. I'm sorry I can't stay in help, but my search and recovery mission has already gone off track, and I need to rendezvous with the rest of my squad. Perhaps our paths will cross again someday. Good luck here. Looks like he's safe, but we've got more Vodwar incoming. Take out that Vodwar drop pod, and then keep moving. We're almost there. Our scouts report that the temple is heavily defended. We still have some Vodwar attacking our flanks, but my soldiers insist they can keep them occupied long enough for us to retake the temple. Are you ready for the final push? There are other areas of the trenches in need of aid. My team and I could go help them while Captain Kim and his team stay with you. Or, if you think you can assault the temple alone, Captain Kim will rendezvous with his officers as well. However, I highly recommend you bring all of us in for your attack on the temple. Are you sure? The temple is secure, and the doors are still locked, which means the Vodwar didn't break in either. Let's see. Ah, uh, okay. I've seen this sort of algorithm before. I'll have the door open in no time. After that, we can figure out what happened to the temple's security system. It shouldn't have done this. I don't deny that we'll need support. My team is one of the few still intact. Captain Kim's away team should meet up with us soon, but... We don't know what kind of numbers we'll be up against. However, the temple itself should be free of Vodwar. If I may suggest, perhaps only you and Captain Kim should enter, and your officers can stay here and help us hold the area.
At least all the Vaudoir here are in stasis pods. Let's take a look around. I want to know why the Kabali lost control of their security systems. That's... that's not right. According to these readings, the occupant of this pod was... me? But the name on it is... Ket... Must be a computer glitch. Could be a symptom of a bigger problem, but whoever was in this pod is gone now. Looks like it was open before the problem started. Hold on. I'll access the temple security footage. Maybe that can show us something. That's... That's me. But from over 30 years ago. What in the world? Stay back! Are you with the Vidians? What do you want from me? Ketan, you have to calm down. My name is Jet Laya. I'm here to help you. That's not my name! Where am I? Where is Voyager? I need to contact my ship. Wait! Come back! Jet Laya. And me? Hold on. There's more security footage. This is the last thing that was recorded. Voyager, this is Ensign Harry Kim. If you get this message, I'm in an unknown alien prison. I've escaped my captors and I'm looking for a way out. I'll send another message with my coordinates as soon as I can. Come, come find me. That... that was me. From over 30 years ago, in my old Voyager uniform. And they're turning me, him, into a Kabali. They knew. This whole time I've been here, they knew. And Lindsay, Jidlaya, she knew. I know I've had a difficult time accepting the Kabali, but they keep too many secrets. They should have told me. Told us about this. I'll be okay. A little shaken up, but... Captain Janeway once told me, we're Starfleet officers. Weird is what we do. And this certainly applies. From what we saw on the security footage, it looks like the other me has taken control of the entire base. That's not too surprising. Not only does he have all the knowledge of a Starfleet officer, the rebirth process transformed his brain. The Kabali's six-lobed brains give them natural abilities in mathematics, physics, wave phenomena, everything he'd need to know to do this. He's still wearing his comm badge, though. I can tap into it. You should try talking to him first. Try to calm him down and convince him to surrender. Not yet. He's already scared and confused. Seeing me before he gets his bearings, it will just make things worse. Starfleet! Wait, I, I don't recognize you. You're not from Voyager. And your uniform? This is a trick. I don't know who you really are, but stay away from me. I don't want any trouble. I'm just trying to get back to my ship. You can tell whoever you're working for that Captain Janeway's coming back for me. She won't leave anyone behind. He's severed the comm link, but I've got a lock on his coordinates. He's deep in the base, down in the old Vaudoir tunnels that even the Kabali don't enter very often. And he's locked down all the main corridors that lead to his location. There's a way, though. There's emergency climbing equipment here. The Kabali put it in a few months ago in case they lost power during the Vaudoir attacks. We could use it to cross the chasm and get closer to where he is. I'll be right behind you. But it's time to see if I can talk some sense into the other me. He wants to contact Voyager, but if he does, he'll reveal their position. Unless we stop him... Harry either ruins Voyager's mission and possibly gets them killed or captured, or he finds a ship, sets a course for their coordinates, and gets blasted by the Vaudoir. I know you're confused, but you have to trust us. What is this? Another me? You expect me to trust a shapeshifter? The circuits are completely fried. Let's find another door.
He's trying to override it again. Give me a second. Let's keep going. Huh. It looks like he's modified the empty stasis pods to send out bursts of electricity. Tricky. I might be able to slow it down from here, but we can't stop what he's done without access to the main console, which is on the other side of the room. I'll stay here and do what I can to delay the bursts, but you'll have to get past them to shut them down. Now, let's see. Got it. You'll need to move through when they're in their car here. Why do you keep trying to stop me getting back to my ship? I'm... I'm here. Harry, this isn't going to be easy to explain. Liar! You can't be! Power failures? The proton bursts? There were two Voyagers. Two Voyagers? Yeah, right. How would that happen? It was the spatial scission. Think, Harry. You know it's theoretically possible. Maybe. But that doesn't explain why I'm here, or why you don't want me to get back to Voyager. Good work. We should keep moving. Harry! Jitlaya! Are you okay? How did... General Cunell said there wouldn't be any more secrets. I'm... I'm okay. Harry... I didn't know they'd send you. How long did you know? Harry, I don't think this is the time. How long did you know? I didn't know when I was on Voyager, if that's what you're asking. We need to stop Ketten. He locked the rest of my team away. They're safe, but trapped. We're the only ones who can help him. We need to move fast. Ketten's not in his right mind. The rebirth process can be difficult under the best conditions, and... I don't know. Maybe humans resist the process more than other species. It took me a long time to accept who... what I was. Yes. He doesn't know what happened. I tried to tell him, but he still thinks it's 32 years ago, Voyager is lost in the Delta Quadrant, and we're in league with the Vidians. He's desperate to get home. When Ketten started tampering with the security devices, he tripped an alert that was sent to the Vaudoir. They think their soldiers are waking up, which is why they're so desperate to get inside. He's putting us all at risk. We need to help him. Action item 238 to resurrect your best friend and give him a second chance for a long life. It's not working out so well, is it? I'm not familiar with everything in this area. We rarely go down this deep. There are still Vaudoir traps here that make exploration dangerous. However, as far as we understand, this facility was intended as a final shelter for the Vaudoir. It would make sense that they would have had a way to contact the outside world. But if Ketten finds a communication device and uses it to contact Voyager, the Vaudoir will hear his message too. Ketten is a danger to himself and to Voyager. If he succeeds in this gambit and contacts Voyager, he'll draw every Vaudoir in the sector to their coordinates. I can't allow that. We have to stop him. He's putting Tuvok and his crew in danger. Just let me get back to Voyager!
It looks like this used to be a server room of sorts. But it's not like one I've seen before. All this is computer storage. And it's massive. 900 year old Vaudoir technology. It's a lot different from anything we have back home. And he's using this to completely block us out. Terrific. There doesn't seem to be a way around this. I'm sure Jidlaya and I can figure out something, given enough time. But if I was on the other side of this, and I am, I'd be trying to stop anyone from moving these. There has to be some sort of reset command. But with our luck, it's on the far side of the maze. Jedlaya and I will keep Kenton from blocking you in. But you'll need to get through this and reset the servers so they return to their start position. Think I can make you a door? Wait here. You're good to go. I'll monitor the area from here. I'm sorry this is how we had to meet again, Harry. That makes two of us. You should have told me. And if we had, what would you have done? I don't know. But I had the right to know you had a copy of me in cold storage. Are you saying he doesn't have the right to rebirth? I... I don't know. This is all a lot to take in at once. Well, I know it is. Imagine how Ketten feels. I have a good idea. Confused, angry, isolated. It's not working. But if I do this, maybe I can buy some time. We have him. Kent, cornered. Without those platforms, though, we have no way to reach him. It's insane. He's manipulating these old defense systems like he's in a Captain Proton Hollow. We have command codes that allow us to interface with the older Vaudoir technology. We've never seen the need to replace systems that still work. But it looks like Ketten has made some modifications. I'll need to override his changes. The best I can do right now is to expose the central power cores behind each platform. Yes, it does. Ketten will be monitoring for any changes in the platform's functionality but I can modify the central power cores to react to energy weapons. If you shoot the cores, you'll be able to power up the platforms and force them open, but you'll only have a short window before he resets them. If we want to do this, Jetlaya and I will stay here to keep trying to seize control of the network back from Ket. And there's still that matter of the field protecting him. When the Kabali first found this room, the old Vaudoir EPS systems were too degraded to handle all the power. They installed regulators throughout the area as a stopgap measure until they could replace the conduits. Basically, it meant that even if one conduit failed, the network would stay active. Those regulators are still in place, and we can use them to get to Ketten. Jedlaya has command codes we can use to overload the regulators. The chain overload will generate a wave of power that will build until it overloads the generators Ketten is using to maintain the field protecting him. Get these codes into four of the consoles and it will short out the field. Once he's distracted, Jidlaya and I can reset the platforms to their normal state. One last thing. Are you certain you give us a few more seconds?
The cores are exposed. It's your move now. to access data on the new flagship. I'll keep an eye on him. That's it. Keep giving me the codes. Whatever you're thinking of trying, don't. We're almost there. You keep saying that, but I'm still here. Stand down before this gets any worse. I don't want anyone to get hurt. You're too late. I'm getting back to Voyager, no matter what. This is bad. Ketan used Jedliah's command codes to access the Kabali flagship in orbit and transport himself to the bridge. Not only that, but he has Voyager's coordinates. If he goes there, the Vodwar will see it as an act of war. We'll lose Ketan, the Kabali flagship, and probably Voyager too. Exactly. We have to stop that ship. I'm coming too. I helped find Ketan's body. I've watched over him during the rebirth process. It's my responsibility to help him now. Please, you must let me do this. I need to fix the mistakes I've made. I told you to stay away! Why won't you listen? I'm going to find Voyager, and I won't let you stop me. I can arm this ship. Don't make me do it. I don't want to hurt you, but I will if you keep trying to stop me from getting back to Voyager. You're not giving me a choice. Computer, arm all weapons and fire!
about the corpse collectors and their new toys. But this is Herogen space. Leave now and leave the ship as a trophy. We'll see how well it performs in a hunt. Perhaps. But wounded prey can be amusing as well. Or maybe I'll strip it and display its bones as a warning to intruders. showing the repair teams are trapped in several rooms on board, but they are otherwise unharmed. Kenton's on the bridge alone. If I I'm going to. I have to see Kenton face to face. It's time to talk this out. Maybe you should talk to him. Why are you trying so hard to keep me from getting home? I need to... I don't... I saw the star date. What? I... I... Ketten, you have to stop this. If you contact Voyager, you'll... I'm done listening to you. I, I just want to go home. I want my life back. The life you stole from me. I understand. I wanted to be Ensign Lindsay back. I loved my life, my friends, you. And then I died, and that life was gone. I tried to get it back, but I would have been living a lie. So I should just give up who I am? No, I'm saying that life ended. But now you have a chance to live a new one. I'm going to be with you every step of the way. Action item 478. Help my best friend own the day. Every day. Even with everything I've done? Forgiven. We don't hold grudges against family. I... I can't tell you what to do, Ken. But the Kabali will be there for you. And I'll do whatever I can. Would you tell me what happened? Voyager and how you got home. About mom and dad and Libby. I think I want to know. Of course I can. Thank you for your help. Ketten's going to have a new life with us. A long and happy... If Ketten decides he wants... I'm happy for Ketten. He gets a second chance at life. A different one than what he had planned, but that's the way life is. When I graduated from the Academy, I never thought I'd spend seven years lost in the Delta Quadrant. Didn't think it would take me as long as it did to get my own command. Didn't think Lindsay and I would never... That's all in the past now. And it's made me the man I am today. Just like Kenton will be the man he's supposed to be. I'm not letting the Kabali completely off the hook, though. Cunell told me there wouldn't be any more secrets, and then they kept this from me. If the Kabali want to be a part of the Delta Quadrant community, they need to be more forthcoming about who they're adding to their families. These men and women aren't getting a choice. Maybe rebirth is a gift, but it's a gift people should have the right to reject. Ketten has been sent back to Kabali Prime to finish the process of rebirth. In the meantime, 
The Kabali have agreed to make their list of currently held bodies public knowledge. Anyone who wishes for their dead not to be turned into Kabali will have the body returned to them. Thank you for all your help with this. This was very personal for me to deal with, and I'm glad I had someone like you at my side to help me through it. Housecoat Gaming signing off.